Hey, good morning, ladies. My name is Taz, and welcome to the What If Taku was born as a kaiju. Basically, this you could read that. What If Taku was born as a kaiju. Basically, yeah. So, oh, the. Um, yeah. So, I'm also adding new characters into this story. <coughs> so, let's begin. And Zuku was born mm, as a, well... I'm also adding zooming into this what if so she's not new, she's just Yeah. So yeah. Plus Zumi was a normal human. So when So let's do it. So Oh Zuku and Zumi were born. But the way that Zuku was born <clears throat> he was born as a little monster a freak show little baby kaiju yeah that was about um uh, smaller than an average they're basically like a toddler so the parents doesn't know what to do with their son. So, so they decided. <coughs> because in this alternate timeline where I'm making, they always had, or no, all the kaijus always, like, some of them wake up to, like, attacks others, others, and... But all of them went extinct after um, the, yeah, including Godzilla. So, yeah, all of those. But then, of course, Zuku and Zumi were really close, like, siblings. So, yeah. So his, so his parents abandoned him in a cave. Of course, their grandma. Oh, uh, she's a new character. Actor. And she ends up. Um. She knows that. Her grandson is a kaiju, so... But she didn't care. She loves kaijus. <laughs> she actually used to had one as a pet before. But then the... It went extinct. <coughs> and... Yes, I used an AI art thing to, like, create this image for this what if, so yeah. Because I couldn't find a picture of the grandma version of art. I typed up the grandma version of or grandma who of Zuku Midoriya. Yeah. So she ends up taking care of the this kaiju uh, she had a little house. House that was fifty or no one point two no no it's one hundred and fifty miles away 
from a cave entrances. So, yeah. Plus, the she owns that land, that part. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. So, basically, yeah. She basically, Thor, or Cassie, be nice. So, yeah. So the, yeah. So Zuku was always got taken care of. Every day. And every day he grew. And instead of him having a quirk, he actually has a powers. <coughs> like, he has powers to even control zombies, soldiers. And he can use, like, there's this one anime season that I always loved, or is now I'm getting addicted to, is Dead Amount Death Play. It's a pretty good one. If you guys don't... <clears throat> you you guys probably didn't hear me say that right, so it's Dead Amount Death Play. Not to... Yeah, this one, with all the, yeah, so, <clears throat> so our, yeah, so let's get back into the story, so, yeah, so Zuku was, he learns how to, like, control his own <clears throat> powers, powers. And, yeah, I know that from, because, <coughs> sorry, so yeah, so Zuku ends up, he didn't break out, not yet, but he was sleeping, but he, yeah, so, and, this is a different version of this alternate one, alternate universe. So Zumi's his parents, she thought was got killed by a pro or pro villains, like high end villains, but turns out they got captured by the villains. Or basically, the parents got kidnapped. Um, by villains, and the, so she goes over to her grandma's and told her the whole story about, like, the parents got killed, and, you know, and she says, huh, the, that's kind of weird. Yeah. So then the... <clears throat> and so the parents... Aaron. Oh, I'm my foot. Ew, oh, crap. I need to put lotion on my feet. So, yeah. So Zuku, who... Or so hit the grandma of... Or let's say, calling her Zor, Zil, Zil. I think Zil. Or I'll just say Grandma because the I like that name. Or it's actually her title, but the yeah. So she ends up. <coughs> um, she ends up being like you know. So she shows. Zoom in. Through that cave, there's a... Him. 
there's a monster, but another one that Azumi goes inside and as his grandma or her grandma walks in with her so that they because she knows the way. Azuku was sleeping. Azuku's there. She's the odd. Okay, where? Her? Well, you're touching his nose. What? As he as she turns around and sees the nose of the. As Zuku's eyes opened, as he could tell, Zuku can tell that <coughs> and the it's his sister, his little sister, as a voice of him saying, "Hi, sister, nice to meet you." As his sister and him were very close when they, before they were even born. So they were siblings. So, yeah. So, yeah. Then the whole thing. Yeah, let's go back to there. And, yeah. Hey, hey. Zuku, yeah. So, Zuku was pretty much. He doesn't want like war or anything. As the he was the only kaiju left. But he's a immortal kaiju. Basically what I mean is he can live ten times longer than a average kaiju. Basically what I mean is basically he could outlive Godzilla, Mothra, um Chainsaw, or anyone or any of those kaijus. Because he was born with the powers of infinity and zero in his own blood or in his own DNA. So when, yeah, <clears throat> if he does get killed, he could come back as a human. Yeah. So let's... So, yeah, Zuku meets his sister, Herm, and his grandma is like, I knew that both of, or I knew that your, your parents abandoned, and then you, or him, but I took him in as my own son. I don't, um... I know how he feels. And when they, like, as he goes back to sleep, because he's, yeah, he's been eating and, like, sleeping and drinking and drinking water, just to clarify. So when he, or when his grandma walks Zumi back to the her place or her home um, and showed her all the what Zuko's like when he was like a toddler or not toddler when he was just a small innocent kaiju basically a Bear claw is sticking right on a, like a metal pole, oh, oh, on one side, 
because the bear did try us or did smack him and caused like bleeding hitting on his side of his face, but he bit the entire bear's arm uh, like basically bites finished the bear. And the only thing that was left was the bear claw. So, yeah. So his grandma walks back out with Crude. And she did have the first aid kit of... And she, like, could see that the bear uh, attacked him. So she patched him up before. <clears throat> and then, you know, a couple times... And the villains were like, okay, we need to. So they go, they try to kill her, but because of Zuku's powers, they end up getting all slaughtered. And like, one of them was still alive, not for very long, but the... Yeah, because the grandma asked Zuku so kindly, or she asked the zombie soldier of Zuku to bring her back his shoes, shoes and because, yeah, so she ends up could put him on display. Yeah, so that was in a, like, during the time skip. So, yeah. So now the, so when, well, of course, Zumi spends a lot of time with her, and plus, she was also spending time with her brother to, like, yeah. You know, so, but one day, or <laughs> because that was at age of seven. So when, so at age of seven, <clears throat> usually in this alternate number is bad number because the, so, so the grandma uh, of Zuku and Zumi was deathly ill. And the zombie soldier of Zuku <clears throat> went to check on her to see if she's doing okay. Because how much power Zuku has, I am not going to fit the entire, like, I'll... Just put as infinity and zero. So, because how much power? So, when she basically, or when, when a zombie soldier walks in to check on her to see how she's doing. And she was in bed, coughing up like blood. And she knows that name. And she tells the zombie soldier that the she's about to die. He, and she had no regrets of um and she wanted to spend more time with her grandson, her favorite grandson and her favorite granddaughter. So when Zombie soldier was still connected to Zuku. So when Zuku heard that she was about to die, even from like old age, he starts crying. He starts to tear up. Um, and she knows that it's her time to go. But she says, Take good care of your granddaughter. Or no, your sister for me. As she dies right then and there. 
And Zuku starts crying. And Azumi was at school. She was waiting for her, or waiting for her grandma to, to, like, show up. Um, but Zuku isn't allowing her to be. So when he gets a, or no, he summons a, like a zombie soldier, like, as he wants to make it look more human. So then, but one ghost was behind him, or over his right eye. It was a, like, how do I put this? The, the ghost was a past driver, basically like a old driver that what looks like he was in his mid twenties, early twenties. Yeah. So he ends up like possessing one of the zombie bodies to go pick her up. And so then so he does and when it was a limousine as he picks Zumi up and Bakugo is jealous. Huh? Did your like grandma or <coughs> did your her grandma hire a Name him. Basically, a human, another person, and the driver comes out and walks around, gets a door, as Zumi him. But he had like a sad face on him as. As he, or as Zumi asks, what's wrong? And she walks over, or he bends down and told her that her, that her grandma passed away. As Zumi's eyes start to water, and she, like, collapsed, crying, tears coming down her face. As she knew her time, or the, her grandma's time came. So when, when the, him, and Bakugo was like, what's wrong? And Zumi was crying, and she can't, like, help her, so from stop crying, so when the driver told her or told Bakugo that her grandma passed away, but her <coughs> brother Hunter actually sent me to get her, her, and told her. Turn that. At least my brother is still alive. As, as she jumps into a car. And she goes back to the grandma's place. And because Bakugo thought, hun, or before, did she get murdered? No. No, no, no. As the driver says, no, no, no. The, it was from old age, basically. It was a natural cause. Not like someone breaks in. Okay? And Zumi was sitting in the front seat or 
and she can't believe, you know, and she had, like, a little bit of a fit because of, yeah, she's kind of blaming herself for not being there in her moment, last moments. As me, him, or as the driver says, Zuku was there, her, her, and, or your brother was there, her, he, he knew, he knows that would, your pain, as Zuku felt the same, but he's not going to go on a rampage and just, huh, because he still has his sister. He still had his little sister to take care of. So when he he plus he used zombie soldiers to get her clothes. Out. Out. So yeah. No copyright music, so, yeah. So, basically, yeah. Zuku. So, now a time skip. To. So, basically, both of them are 15. One, five. 15 years old. And Zuku is... Pretty large. He's larger than a mountain. Like, imagine having to zoom in to the, where the little Inko is at and seeing that big of a monster from a head all the way to the tail. Yeah, that's how big Zuku is. Like, imagine Zumi being like, yeah, but he still takes care of her no matter how many times that he has to, yeah, because he was big. I mean big. Like, in if he was real, like in real life one, all of us would be smaller than an ant, like a little pebble, like the smallest pebble in the world, kind. It would make, like, the world's smallest guitar or violin look like an average one. So, yeah. Because how big he is. So he goes to UA. And because, Zoom, because Zuku was a big brother, he, he did pack her a uh, lunch so that the him to make sure she, because he's seen. The gram her or his grandma um pack lunches for Zumi all the time. So when yeah, because he doesn't want her to because how much he loves his own sister. So Zuku was like. So she accepted into UA and she became class 1A. And yeah. So hold on one second. Cassie, please be quiet. And you're okay. Cassie? Sorry. And that's my dog. His name. So yeah, basically, 
Yeah. So, Zuku, uh, let's see how long this video took. Oh, hmm. Well, at least. Yeah, so. Please wait for part two to be filmed and have a good night or day. Depends on the time zone.